A 45 year old Novato mom of three and community volunteer received the gift of new life in October of this year, a new heart. Prior to the transplant, she had just a five year life expectancy following sudden life threatening heart issues. Well, today the devoted mom and wife is thriving with her new heart and I got a chance to meet her and her family as they celebrate this special holiday. In 2019, I had a heart attack and I coded. Uh, I was in coma for 17 days. And ever since then, 45 year old Manuela had 911 instructions posted on the living room wall. Since English isn't her husband's first language, and her three daughters were away at school. I have here, you know, 911 and uh, everything about my health history. That is until a very magical day. It was magical because it was a day before the solar eclipse, the ring of fire. <laughs> she learned there was a match for her, a heart donor. My previous heart was weak and uh, I felt in my brain I couldn't think very well. I was fatigued all the time. I couldn't really help my family. I had to stop working. Two months ago, the heart transplant surgery she so desperately needed to live. I had to wait, but it was uncertain when I was going to have my heart. And but yes, here I am. Tell me about your heart. My heart, it feels amazing. Um, I can hear my heart every day. As for her scar, I'm going to wear it proudly. Her daughters, ages 13, 19, and 20, say the holiday is special, heartwarming, so to speak, because they know their mom is getting healthier by the day. You can see that she's like way better than before. It's a gift, and I am so proud. They are my reason of leaving. The family is especially grateful because they know the gift of life means the loss of life to a donor's family. I'm just grateful and I'm sending love to the family um, because it's not easy for them. In order for me to get a new heart, someone has to lose a heart. Manuela credits the nonprofit called Help <laughs> Hope Live. It helps recipients set up a fundraising site to help pay for medical costs. They helped me a lot because I had to stop working. What's the story about running five well. <laughs> And now two months after her heart transplant surgery, she's already setting some mighty goals for next year. My goal is to run a 5K marathon. <laughs> 5K marathon, it's not a marathon, it's a oh. competition. <laughs> Oh. In Hawaii, <laughs> with my family. Oh wait! Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> yeah, by <laughs> the end of next year. That's my goal. That's my motivation. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> oh, her daughters were so cute when they heard they're going to Hawaii. They're like, okay. You know, many costs associated with transplant and ongoing recovery are not fully covered by insurance. So the Help Hope Live nonprofit actually verifies medical needs and helps patients fundraise through this nonprofit organization.